Hello, it's Kate here from immigration.ca and I've got some top tips for you if you are moving to Canada in 2024. I've been here seven years myself, originally from the UK, and here are some things that I've learned. So, winter survival. We are in the thick of it here in Ontario and I used to worry about my coat, but honestly, good boots, that's the most important thing. Make sure they're waterproof, make sure they're good quality. There's nothing worse than having cold, wet feet. Take your vitamin D, vitamin D, that's so important for your mental health. Keep healthy. You're going to need to moisturize a lot. Your skin's going to get really dry in this climate, in Ontario anyway. And and stay active, go out and socialize, make sure you are filling those long dark days as best you can. Job offer negotiation. Now, this was interesting. I used to just think that I could negotiate the salary amount that you get paid every year, but in Canada, you've got some other things that you can negotiate. Benefits are amazing. Get your massages, get your chiropractor appointments, um, and then you've also got vacation days. Now, Canada's quite notorious for being quite bad. You get maybe 10 working days a year as like a base, but you know, if you're going in for a brand new job and they really like you, maybe you have some wiggle room there. You can say, no, I really want the 15 days, for example. Really worth doing. Federal versus provincial. Now, this used to really confuse me, um, but basically Canada's such a big country and I'm used to my little UK country where everything's the same no matter where you go, but federal versus provincial. Federal is the whole country as a whole. They deal with your social insurance number, paying income taxes, things like that, and provincial is your healthcare and your driving. So you have to look into where to go to sign up for different services. So don't do what I did. Don't go to Service Canada and ask about driving. It's Service Ontario. <laughs> Um, and finally, meeting new people is so important when you move to a new country. Um, my biggest tips for you um, is to attend lots of events. You've got meetup.com, eventbrite.com. Um, there are so many networking events that you can go to, especially if you're in the cities, um, and Facebook groups. Those are so key. I don't know what I would have done without them. Search, you know, Brits in Toronto, for example, are amazing. Um, they always host events as well, and you can ask advice and connect with other newcomers. So come back for part two. Um, I'm going to share more advice about your move, and as always, contact immigration.ca if you have any questions about life in Canada.